Hi, I'm Tony Escobar, and since I have taught as an educator and a speaker to hundreds of thousands of people all over the world, I'm often asked the following questions. These questions are good questions, and I hopefully um, I will answer them in this uh, series of presentations. So here we go. Uh, these are the questions I'm, I'm, I'm quite often asked. Uh, what is the best thing I can do to lose weight and keep it off? What can I eat that will ensure that I will have a long, healthy life? What can I eat to ensure that I have energy and stamina to get through the day? What can I do to avoid my hair from falling out? What can I do to avoid candida? What is the best thing I can eat if I am exercising every day? How much exercise is enough? What causes anxiety and stress? What can I eat that is natural and safe for my hair, my skin, and my nails? What can I do to avoid spider veins and wrinkles? What can I eat to help me avoid colds, flu, fibromyalgia, depression, heart disease, autoimmune diseases, chronic fatigue syndrome, Epstein-Barr virus, MS, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, atherosclerosis, eczema, uh, dermatitis, insomnia, as well as hundreds of other chronic ailments. What can I do to possibly avoid medications such as NSAIDs, antidepressants like Prozac, headaches, uh, headache medicines, um, etc. Uh, what can I do to avoid drugs like Ritalin for my child? What can I do to help me avoid prostate cancer? What can I do to help me avoid breast cancer? What can I do to help me avoid colon cancer? The number of questions that I am asked, if I was to list them right here and right now, would take hours. So I will hold it right here and not go any further with the statistics. The fact is, America is arguably the most diseased and obese nation on the face of the earth. I have many good, logical, straightforward answers that will certainly address and possibly answer many of these concerns. First, I want it to be known that my wife and I love what we do, and we do what we love. We serve those we love, and we love those we serve. I am here with you today because I really want to make a difference in your lives. I want to enrich your lives and the lives of your families with good health especially when you consider 67% of the American population has some form of ill health. From my point of view, I'm sick and tired of so many people being sick and tired, and I'm doing my very best to make a difference. Every year in America, there are approximately 85 million surgeries. There are a million and a half cardiovascular surgeries that includes 750,000 heart surgeries, 300,000 surgeries for the breast, 300,000 prostate surgeries, and over one million hip, knee, and joint replacement surgeries. Today, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high triglycerides affect 115 million people in this country. And depending on the report you read, it is estimated that over 100,000 children under the age of 14 are being treated for high blood pressure. That doesn't shock me, especially when you consider obesity in children is doubling every seven years now. High blood pressure is arguably epidemic. Fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, Syn chronic fatigue syndrome, Epstein-Barr virus now affects about 65 million people in the United States alone. 66 million people suffer with allergies every day in America. Over 500 people die from disease. That's 8,000 people every single day, 56,000 people every week. Let me put this in perspective for you. That's like filling the Oakland Raiders football stadium every week of every year with people and killing them. Infertility is a major health concern today, with 4.9 million women now classified as infertile and 2.9 million men. 75% of women of childbearing age are having difficulty getting pregnant today. Every one of you listening to me today know of someone who is having difficulty getting pregnant. Many of know, know of someone who has miscarried a baby. Today, one in nine women will lose a breast as a result of breast cancer before she passes on. That's a far cry from where it was 45 years ago when one in 35 or 40 women would lose a breast to this awful disease. 
It is estimated that one in four men will die from prostate cancer. 190,000 men will develop the disease this year. In 2011, 60 million Americans were prescribed drugs for mental illness using drugs like Prozac. America saw about six million pregnancies that resulted in close to two million miscarriages during the same year. According to the March of Dimes, close to two of every 10 babies are born with some mental or physical handicap. I can rattle off more statistics. I get so excited about these statistics because they're so wrong. They shouldn't be there. And, uh, but I have to. I have to give you these statistics because I want to create some level of awareness of the health challenges you and your family are facing. I'm going to do this using just a I'm, I'm, I'm doing this using just a few facts that, that, that obviously you are definitely not aware of. I want to wake up America. I want to create this awareness so you will do something about it. I want you to know that there is absolutely something you can do about this health crisis.